right. Okay. Are you ready? Recording. Oh, okay. Well, there we go. <laughs> All right, so, uh, so if we want to argue this, and, and here you're really making the connection with Bernoulli trials is the key thing to do. So what we would like is we'd like to, in n steps, go k to the right, say. Okay, so we'd like to be at a net gain of plus k. If that was the case, how many plus steps would we need as opposed to minus steps? Well, if we have this, the number of plus 1 steps, so if we have a plus 1 steps, and this is the number of minus 1 steps, we would need the sum of a plus b to be k to have a displacement of k after n steps. Right? And I'm sorry, uh, probably if this is number of minus steps, we want a minus b to be k. Right? We want the difference between a and b, the net gain to be k. But the other condition that a and b have to satisfy is that a plus b has to be equal to n, because I know I've taken a total of n steps. Okay. So if you solve these two equations for a and b, well, we could just add these two equations. It tells me that a has to be, if I add this equation to this one, it would have to be k plus n over 2, okay. which means that b has to be n minus a, okay. which is the same thing as 2n minus k plus n over 2, which is just n minus k over 2. So now we use the connection with Bernoulli trials. We say that I'm going to take a total of n steps. In order to have a net gain of k, I need a of those, k plus n over 2, to be to the right, and k minus, or n minus k over 2 to be the left. So then, if this probability of going right is p, we need to raise p to the k plus n over 2 power. And we need to raise 1 minus p to the b power, so n minus k over 2. Now, of course, this isn't going to be the answer for all values of k. Because, for instance, if n is even, I know that there's no way I could be an odd number of steps away from the origin. So if k is odd and n is even, then k plus n is odd, and that divided by 2 does not give me an integer. So that doesn't make sense. So in order for this formula to make sense, we need n plus k to be even. So sum of two odds is even, sum of two evens is even. So as long as they're the same parity, uh, this formula makes sense. And if not, the probability is just 0, because it would be impossible to get that. Okay. So that's it for this one.